people that are traveling to at-risk countries should seek medical advice from a travel clinic that, that has the infrastructure and the expertise to give the right advice and the right protection. We see first-time travelers to experienced travelers. A lot of first-time travelers, they're anxious. And I think coming to the travel clinic, kind of informing them, putting things in perspective, I think that's really important. We have a separate clinic for pediatric patients. We have the capability of seeing anyone post-travel or who's an immigrant or foreign visitor that's sick and evaluating them carefully. What we think is special here is that we bring physicians with expertise, many of whom do extensive travel themselves or do research in areas of the world where different problems occur. Seeing uh, travelers in the clinic we do a careful analysis of their itinerary, and then we customize our advice based upon both their geography and the type of travel they're doing. We primarily focus on disease prevention. We talk about vaccines, getting illnesses from mosquitoes, and we talk about ways to prevent getting sick from food and water. And so we focus on mitigating those risks and preventing those risks. The Roe Green Center for Travel Medicine frankly, can have international implications. So when we think about its size, scale, scope, and reach, there are no boundaries on the great work that we can do as a result of Rose's generous gift. My love of travel, it's just very important because I think it's one of the best educations you can get. I've been to 162 countries, if not more, and the travel clinic is so important because the world is getting smaller. I want us to be the number one place where we go, where, where people go to and ask questions.